Okay, I have a few random colors here that I have to show you how to get started on this afghan. We're going to start with day one, which creates the border for the afghan. So I'm going to start, we're going to leave a 12 inch tail for the fringe. And then I'm going to start with my slip knot and chain two. Then I'm gonna single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And now we're gonna work into the center of the single crochet. So we're going under these two loops here. So I'm going to chain three and then work two double crochet down through the center of that single crochet. Okay, now we're going to work through the top of that last double crochet we did. So we're going to chain three and then two double crochet through the top of that last double crochet. And we're going to keep doing that. Chain three and then two double crochets through the top of that last double crochet. Chain three, and then two double crochet. So you're going to keep going until you have a total of 136 scallops. So for this example, I'm just going to do eight. And I think that's my eighth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to fasten off, but you want to leave that long tail so you have, have it for the fringe. So that is day one. Okay, for day two, we're going to work into the double crochet, that last double crochet in each of those scallops. So you're going to work in, into them the same as you would work into a chain three space or a chain space. So we're going to start with our length for the fringe, make your slip knot, and then we're going to join with a single crochet around that last double crochet that we did. So just insert under the double crochet, pick up a loop, and then pull through two. So that's the first single crochet. I'm going to do a second single crochet in that same one. And then you're going to work into that same space where the double crochet were made. So do a single crochet in that spot. So now into the next double crochet, we're going to work two single crochet. And then into the same place that the double crochet were worked. Two single crochet around the double crochet. And into that same spot where the others were worked. Keep going all the way down across all of the scallops. Okay, into the next double crochet. And then to the same spot where they were worked. Two in this spot, and then one more. And then two around the last double crochet, 
two in the spot where they were worked, and then one in that last chain, and then fasten off. That's day two. Okay, for day two, you should have a total of 409 single crochet. So now we're gonna do day three. Let's go ahead and turn your work. And for day three, we're gonna follow the row A instructions. So we're gonna leave our length for the fringe, make a slip knot. We're gonna join with a single crochet in that first stitch. So I've got my slip knot, I'm gonna pull up a loop and then go through all. I'm gonna chain one, skip a single crochet, and then we're gonna puff stitch in the next one. So insert your hook and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up a loop in that same one, yarn over, pull up a loop again, yarn over and go through all. Chain one, skip one, and single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, and then puff stitch. So search your hook and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up another loop, yarn over, pull up another loop, yarn over and pull through all. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, puff stitch, pull up a loop, up another loop, pull up another loop, yarn over and pull through all. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. Okay, chain one, skip one, puff stitch, chain one, skip one, single crochet. Okay, one more time. Close the puff stitch. Chain one, single crochet in the last. And then fasten off. And that is day three. Okay, so we're gonna turn and do day four. So we're gonna follow the row B instructions. So we're gonna start with our length of thread for the fringe. Make your slip knot. Join with a single crochet in that first stitch. You're gonna single crochet in that chain one space. Single crochet in the puff stitch single crochet in the same one space, and then single crochet in the next single crochet. So we're gonna keep going all the way across. Single crochet in the chain one space, in the puff stitch, the chain one space, and the single crochet. Okay, single crochet in the chain one space, in the puff stitch, in the chain one space, in the single crochet. Okay, one last time, the single the chain stitch the puff stitch, the chain space, and the single crochet. And then fasten off, leaving your length for the fringe. And that's day four. Okay, so for day five, let's turn. And then for day five, we're going to follow the row C instructions. 
So we're gonna leave our length for the fringe, make our slip knot, join with a single crochet in that first stitch, single crochet in the next, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next three, half double crochet in the next, single crochet in the next three. Okay, we'll start again with the half double crochet, three double crochet, double crochet and three single crochet and you're gonna keep repeating all the way across until you have seven stitches left okay so then we're going to half double crochet double crochet in three half double crochet and then a single crochet in the last two and fasten off leaving your length for the fringe so that's day five okay for day six we're going to follow the row D instructions so we're going to leave our length for the fringe, make a snip slip knot, and we're going to join with a single crochet in that first stitch, and then single crochet all the way across. So you're going to have a 408 more single crochet, but it'll be a total of 409 for the row. So we're just going to single crochet in each. There's my last two and fasten off leaving your length for the fringe. So there is day six and now we're on day seven. So we're going to follow the row E instructions. So leave your length for the fringe, make your slip knot. This time we're going to join with a double crochet so you have your slip knot yarn over you're going to need to hold it so it doesn't come off insert your hook in that first stitch pull up a loop and then go through two twice okay one more double crochet then we have a half double crochet three single crochet A half double crochet and three double crochet. Okay, and then the repeat is the half double crochet, single crochet and three, a half double crochet then double crochet in three. And you're gonna continue all the way across until you have seven left. And then 
So you're going to half double crochet, single crochet in three, half double crochet, double crochet in the last two. And then fasten off with your length for the fringe. And that's day seven. So you're going to keep following um, the instructions for every day. Each day will tell you which row instructions to follow. And then the last day will be the border for, for the other side. So I will show you that. Okay, I've done several more rows here to represent um, my year. So this would be my day th 364. So the last day would be 365. So if it's a, a regular year, you're not going to turn. You're going to work on the right side for day 364 and 65. If, if it's a leap year, you're going to turn and do one more single crochet and then turn back so that you're on the right side. So now I'm gonna show you day 365, which is the ending border. So I'm gonna get my length of yarn for the fringe, make my slip knot. I'm gonna join with a single crochet in that first, first stitch. Oops. I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to double crochet in the center of that single crochet. Just one double crochet. I'm going to skip two single skip two single crochet and single crochet in the next. Okay, chain three, double crochet in the center of that single crochet. Skip two single crochet and single crochet in the next. Chain three, double crochet in the center, skip two, single crochet in the next. Chain three, double crochet in the center, skip two, single crochet in the next. Gonna keep going all the way across the row. Skip two. Last one, skip two and single crochet in that last one. And then fasten off with your length for the fringe. Okay, and that shows you how to do all the rows for the afghan. When it's all done, you're just going to take five rows at a time and make them into fringe. So just pull it over like that. Oops, there we go. Just do an overhand knot. So there's three, four, five. I'm gonna pull them together. So wrap it over. And then pull those through. And tighten them. Then once all of your fringe is knotted, you can cut them to the length that you want and your afghan will be done.